My name is Elisha Zosi. By the grace of God, I'm a prophet. You are and prophet I'm from Zambia. From Zambia. But yes, the sir. fighting spirit yes, sir. is what has troubled your family, your life. Yes, sir. You don't know what to do. Even when you preach your gospel, it is all fighting. If somebody doesn't believe your gospel, he's in trouble. No, you cannot force people to believe the gospel. What you're saying is very true, man of God, and I confirm the prophecy. I feel sometimes like people just use me. Where they come, you pray for them, and things happen, and after that, they disappear. And the ministry for seven years now is to stuck on the same position, and that has brought anger in my spirit. And I'm now even thinking, say, am I doing the right thing? Is this my calling? Let me see the senior prophet to give the, me guidance. The, the shorter man who prayed for you, what happened between you and him? I don't remember, prophet. I think this one is, is not so short, but is shorter than you. Yes, sir. Yes, I remember. What you're saying is true, man of God, I remember. The man who looks like him shot like this prayed for me, for me, I remember very well. But that man is no longer with us. He was Bishop Zulu, the spiritual father to my brother, who is also a, a, a bishop. Whatever you are doing, you got it from this short man. And you never recognize and you abused and they chased him away. That so long true. as you are still chasing him away, abusing him, the same way they will do to your church forever until the That end. is true. Who is this man to you? This man here is my bro is my friend. We grew up together. He's just like my brother to me. He knows everything about me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So even him is aware about this because we are together in the same ministry. Dr. Let's him. hear from him. <coughs> my name is Louis from Zambia. I want to confirm all the prophecy you have given to my brother. We grew up together like he, we knew each other when I was 10 years. He, this man used to fight for real. When you call him a beat, he will fight you until you run away. And he had that temper. Last month, mm. there's one of my, my workers. He called him, he beat him in my, in my presence. That prophet? Yes. <laughs> Tell me I don't like he, nonsense. The elder brother is saying is our bishop in the church. Mm -hmm. Yes, what you are saying, man, man of God, is true. And you prayed for the elder brother? The man who prayed for my elder brother is the same man who prayed for me, Bishop Zulu. The short one, yes. So what did you do to Bishop Zulu? What I did, I never recognized the grace upon his life. That is the mistake. Yet your preaching and everything is from Bishop Zulu. This is what black people do. They never recognize the people who have helped them, the people who have taught them ABCD. No, you, you, you may have uh, a primary teacher, a secondary teacher, and a university teacher. It doesn't mean that you're now a doctor, you didn't have a teacher. No, we should recognize the people who have done much in our lives. You find me here, preaching, teaching, happy, uh, who told you? In 1986, there came a man called Prophet John Obiaboa from Ghana. You all come. Akwaba. This man said to me, young man, you are sick and poor. Thou shalt remember the Lord your God. It is he who gives you power to acquire wealth. From today, the sickness has gone. You die counting money. Do I know poverty? No. Why shouldn't I recognize him? The tournament 818. This is the mistake we do. Once you forget where you came from, everything will collapse. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, mm. that he may establish his covenant, which is what your fathers, as it is this day. He said, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac has made this. Why were the apostles recognizing the God of Isaac? 
the God of Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why were they recognizing them? You must be from somewhere. When he arrested in 87, then in 2000, I went to meet Prophet T.B. Joshua. You see here people vomiting. They vomit their sickness. The man who introduced vomiting in the whole world. He said, Pastor, go back to your country. People vomit their sickness. What's wrong with that? Why should I? <laughs> did you know? <laughs> Where did you acquire all this? This is very wrong. Recognize him. He's the one who prayed for you to have or whatever you are doing. And in your preachings, you remember him. His sir. verses he used. Yes, sir. John 4, 5, you used them. Yes, sir. What you're saying is very true. I, I didn't recognize his grace, and I, I didn't even take anything to him to honor him. So that, please that help is, me. That is why all your things are going astray. That is why the people you pray for, they run away from you, because you never recognize. But for me, me. Uh, and my family, I will continue to, to appreciate the life of Prophet John Obiyeboa from Ghana, the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yes. These two people, they have done a lot, a lot in my life. So I'll continue to appreciate them. They did the good for my life. Yes, Prophet. If to others they got zero, I, I think I should recognize the marks I got from them. Yes, Prophet. Don't listen to those who got zero. We went to Prophet David Joshua, the miracle was Why do you talk zero? Don't talk zero. Let us talk who got the marks. God bless you, prophets. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's learn to appreciate. As much as you don't appreciate Bishop Zulu, your church will never move. Man of God, what you are saying is true. <laughs> I have to get him to bring him to my yard to help me because the things were hard for him. Go back to B Bishop Zulu and kneel down before him and say, I'm sorry. Both are receiving their deliverance. In the name of the Lord. So long as you don't recognize where you come from, you are in shambles. Deuteronomy 8, 19 and 20. Then it shall be, mm. if you by any means yes. forget the Lord your God uh -huh. and follow other gods yes. and serve them mm -hmm. and worship them, mm. I testify against you this day mm. that you shall surely perish as the nations which the Lord destroys before you. So you shall perish because you would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. Go back, take $3,000. Go, whether you borrow them, take to Bishop Zulu. Kneel down, <laughs> buy him a cow, buy him rice. Say, I'm so sorry. Prophet Kakande told me to come back and say, I'm sorry. Bishop Zulu, I'm sorry. Yes, Prophet, I will do so. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you, sir.